What is going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. This, uh, this video is about, it's actually taking a part of a much longer video of me installing a Ubiquiti G3 bullet camera outdoors. But I wanted to bring out this one little part where I am terminating a Cat5 cable using pass-through RJ45 connectors. And I figured it would be kind of cool to just pull that out and make it its own little video. It'll be in the longer video too, but uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool. So let's get after it. So all we need is the cable, a way to get the plastic jacket off. That's this, RJ45 connector. These are the pass-through type. So you'll see that whenever I get to that point, we're gonna be actually not worrying about cutting a certain length so that it fits inside the RJ45 connector. It actually passes through the end down here. And then you have to have a special, I say special, but it's a pass-through uh, crimper. Look like that. So, there you go. Whenever you're using these strippers like this, you don't want to make sure that you don't cut the cable inside the actual cable because you'll have problems. So always go orange, blue, whoops, orange, blue, green, brown, kind of separate them out like that initially. Makes it a little bit easier in the future. Snap off that guide or whatever you want to call it. Actually, I'm going to be good. Probably a little bit better than that. Be careful not to cut the data wires. All right, so orange, blue, green, brown. You'll see why I just remember it as OBGB, right? Orange, blue, green, brown. And there's two wires that you have to switch at the end, and that's the blue, white, and blue, green. We'll get to that in a minute. Orange, blue. So it's always orange, it's always the white wire associated wire to the left. That's the way I remember it. Everybody has their own little ways of doing it. But that's just how I remember it. I do have my garage door open, so you're gonna hear all kinds of noises out there. So this is how it started. Looks like this. Then I'll take the edge of something like this uh, stripper here and squeeze the cables and straighten them out like this. Usually two or three passes is enough. I like to keep them in order while I'm doing this. You straighten them out in order, you know, it just makes it easier. I'm putting some pretty decent pressure on there. Holding the wire in between my finger and the and the plastic. You don't want to use anything that's going to actually strip the wire, you know, don't use like something metal or anything like that. That's going to be bad. All you're trying to do is straighten it out. Okay, so that's not wrinkled doesn't have twists in it okay like that pretty solid and then what you'll want to do remember you have to switch three and five so it's 
blue, white, and green. And then you want to look down here at the bottom to make sure that you're going in the right direction. It makes it really difficult with that guide, that plastic guide that's in there in the middle. But you can sometimes get lucky and have it flip around pretty easily. This one's not going to be so easy, but it's not too bad, it looks like. Okay, so it looks like that. That looks pretty good. All right. Make sure you keep them in order. And what I'm doing with my left thumb down here is just a lot, a lot of pressure right there to keep them uh, in the right order. Now gather them up like this, make sure they're in the right order still, kind of stretch them out like this and I'm pulling and bending at the same time so they all kind of line up. In the right order here. Okay, so this is, like I was saying earlier, this is pass-through, right? So the trick here is there's no need to worry about how far up here you cut because it's going to pass through the end of the connector. You don't have to worry about that. But the trick, from what I gather, is to cut this at a slight angle, okay? Because if you cut it flush, if you cut it even, then it's going to be a nightmare trying to fit them all into their individual slots. You see that little ramp in there? Uh, it's going to be really difficult to get them all in the hole at the same time. Right? And see how they're staggered in there too? So imagine having them all cut to the exact same length and trying to fit them in there all at one time. It's not going to work very well. Uh, so what you do is you cut at a slight angle and I mean a slight angle so like this I don't know how this is going to show on the camera but so that would be straight that would be roughly straight so I'm just going to go like just a little bit at an angle so it looks like that now you might not be able to tell that there's an angle here let me see if I can show you so if you compare those two I mean it's slight just a slight angle okay so then, yeah, you can kind of tell, put it in here, you can tell there's a little bit of an angle. Maybe, I don't know. So then what I'm doing is I'm actually pushing down a little bit. And you can see, you probably can tell that there's a slight angle there. And this is going to be really hard to do live here, but making sure that the... Come on. Not want to go on that first one. I don't have my glasses on either, so. But I'm making sure that they're in the right order, right? That the wires are still in the right order. Okay, feels like I got some of it in there. There we go, I think we got it. All right, so I'm gonna check. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue. Blue, white, green, white, uh, brown, white, brown. So that's good. So that's gonna pass through the end. And then we're just going to, now this cable is super thick. You can see how it doesn't fit in there very well. So yeah, I have to squeeze the ends of the jacket together to get them, get it to fit up inside there like that. So, you want it to be underneath of this because that is what gets crimped on the on the jacket to hold the connector on there. So we're looking pretty good here, guys. We're looking pretty good. So now, uh, this gets a little tricky too because these need to be, for this particular uh, crimping tool here, um, it's not very forgiving. There's not a lot of room in here to get the cable through, you see that? So you have to make sure it's kind of flat right here so that it'll actually fit through there. And not uh, catch the wires on anything. I probably did. Oh. Looks 
looks like it's going. There we go. Okay. And then what I do is I squeeze once. And you see this one has the, if I can grab this and show you. So see it already cut the wires off the end right here. So this has the blade that cuts the pass-through. So this is a pass-through crimper. And then I go like that a couple times and that's it. So now we're good. See how it plunged that down, grab the jacket. So now the connector won't come off. Always kind of double check your order. Still looks good. All right, I think we're good for that one. I'm gonna put the other end on the other end and then we'll, uh, we'll keep going. Hope you enjoyed that video. There is one thing I would like to point out. You can actually go, I, I was mentioning just a slight angle, but you can go a little bit more of an angle. The second one I did, the other end of that same cable, I went a little bit more on the angle and it was, <laughs> I got it in there like super easy the very first time. So uh, yeah, you know, the one that I did while I was recording was, I kind of fumbled around with it for a minute. But anyway, hopefully you got something out of that. I will see you guys next time. Stay savage, everybody.